You're on mile facing. If you're coming out of the hold, I need a mile facing. Otherwise, we're going to have to start breaking you guys off and sending you back to the lake. No side by side, no on top. I got a little in a half mile south of this. We're off your way. Low in half mile south of this. Good. I need you to maintain that speed or slower. Actually, pull it back for me. You're eating up for that Cessna just a little bit. Pull it back just a little bit. Follow the railroad track going. Jackson County, that uh, can't see us. We're going to go around. Put the right down for 27. Breaking any of you guys out. We want you guys to get to the show. Find somebody to follow. Find somebody to follow. We're on the fence in there. Lower the bucking fence, rock the wind. We've got a half off our fence with the gear still up. Your gear still up. Make sure they're low and you're. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Welcome to Oshkosh. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. Go straight up the track, please. Straight up the track. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to 7.0 and to our part three of our Flying to Oshkosh series. So today's day two of our trip and we spent the night in Cincinnati, a city that we really didn't have many expectations for, but it actually quickly grew on us. Uh, we had some good drinks, some good food. We rode around on those weird scooters for the first time and we didn't break anything, so that's good. Um, and we're absolutely going to be coming back for a longer stay in the future. Hey, maybe a future video, we'll see. Um, so far, the only surprise was an unexpected heat wave that's been sweeping across the United States. And apparently, we weren't the only ones flying to Oshkosh and feeling it. It's been hot though. This is, we have this excessive heat warning across this entire part of the country. And man, oh, I don't know if it's just the humidity or what, but it's, I'm not used to this kind of heat. Unfortunately, our GoPro that records audio decided to take the day off. Pro tip for people who make videos, always have backup audio, which I normally do, but of course today I didn't. Uh, so while we're going to miss me complaining about heat like I do in every episode, this actually gives us a good opportunity to kind of recap what we're doing. We have flown 740 miles from Florida to Ohio, stopping briefly in North Carolina. We have about 340 miles until Traverse City, Michigan. However, this heat wave has a serious low pressure system with it, and we're expecting a stretch of thunderstorms. And those stretches of thunderstorms don't tend to mix well with aviation. So it looks like this huge low pressure system is coming down on Wisconsin and Michigan. Initially, I was a bit unsure of the decision to skip out on the first few days of Oshkosh camping, but now that I see how the weather's going, it's looking like that was a good call. Go ahead and just search YouTube for the first few days of camping in Oshkosh and you'll see what I mean. So we're going to need some backups. We most likely can't make it to Traverse City today. So Grand Rapids looks like our best alternate. And just in case the weather beats us, Kalamazoo is our second alternate. A city that I've never heard of until I started flight planning today. So we may be in for a bit of adventure. After 30 minutes of flying and tracking the storm front, it was becoming clear that not only was Traverse City out of the question for the day, but there was no way we were going to beat the storm front to Grand Rapids. So it was an easy decision to play it safe and divert to our second alternate, Kalamazoo, and hopefully find a place to stay and wait out the storm. But it's not all bad news. Our GoPro started working again and captured our mission critical in-flight discussions. Oh, the, uh, the Indianians. Hard to keep these dang states straight up here. 
And that uh, Parks and Rec is in the. It like, is. I think it. I think it is in Indiana. In what's the name of the town in Parks and Rec? Uh. uh Some, how do I not remember that? Oh well. Somethingville. <laughs> I'm, I'm just making that up. I, <laughs> Swanee. Swanee? No. Yeah. Swanee? Sw Swanneeville? No. <laughs> uh, Swan no, we're thinking about Rob Swanson. Uh, Wait. I don't know what it is. Why can't I think of it? What's it's wrong? like an Indian yeah. name. The P. See that road down there? Uh -huh. We're crossing into right now with Canton. Ooh. Or Michigan. <laughs> or <what>? Oh. <laughs> Michigan. We need to work on a geography, by the way. <laughs> Michigan. Whatever. One of these northern Yankee states. <laughs> We're these crossing into Michigan. Pure Michigan. I already feel it. Those commercials are coming to me. Pure Michigan. So, what did you say the Parks and Rec? city was? Swanee? Swanee. Okay, and I said no, it starts with a P. Right? Yeah. Pawnee. We're idiots. That's, a, that's good. We're close. We, so. we, we should have been able to piece that together. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. What was information? Julia? Yeah. Information Julia. Ah! Ah! That timing. Uh. Yeah, 34 not wins. Pushing us, that front coming through. Yeah. Are you crabbed into it a little bit, or? The plane is. You can tell because um, it's kind of hard to tell on there. But you can tell the plane's a little crab. But it's the, the way you can really notice is see this green thing. Yeah. Actually, speaking of, I'm gonna turn this on. So see the screen. So this, what that is, is that's the, I think it's called the like the velocity vector or some kind of vector. It, that's where we're going. So this dead ahead is like down the nose. So actually Kalamazoo Airport right there is like dead ahead of us. But I'm I'm setting us up for a left downwind, or actually probably left base. Um, so I'm aiming to the right of the airport because that's what I'm guessing they want us to do. Uh, so you can tell the plane's going that way. So since we're facing forward, we can tell it's it's crabbing itself into the wind a little bit. Kalamazoo Tower, Sierra six four three, Juliet Mike. Sierra six four three, Juliet Mike, Kalamazoo Tower. And we're about um, twelve miles to the southeast with information, Juliet. We were we we're planning on going to Oshkosh, but it looks like we got a little bit of weather north of you. So we're going to spend the night with you guys. So we're going to be coming in for a full stop. Cheers to Julie Mike. Roger, enter a left downwind for runway 17. Uh, we could take 2-3 uh, if you don't mind. Did you Mike? Through Julie Mike, actually, yeah, that works better for the wind. Current wind is uh, 26011, gust 21. Enter a left base for runway 23. Left base for 23. Thanks, Julie Mike. All right, so the airport is, there's a couple of lakes. To the lake, lakey lakeys. And or, so if you take those two lakes, like that away, I think I see it. Yeah, I, I think I can kind of pretend to make it out. Airport in sight. Airport, airport in sight. Got it. Oh no, dead ahead. Dead ahead? Yeah, that, that's dead what ahead. it looks that's like. That's what you were looking at? Yeah. yeah. All right, our camera keeps turning off. So we made it to Duncan, I'm not Duncan, Kalamazoo. I'm gonna say this before the camera turns off. <laughs> we'll see what we find here. Do you have yeah. any words of wisdom? Let's have fun. Let's Kalamazoo it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, you can see the clouds in the distance and it does not look good. Yeah. How's it going? 
Good, love the Nashka. <laughs> Almost made it. <laughs> yeah. So, stopping for the night and putting three Juliet Mike into a hangar was actually a good idea. The storm on the horizon was actually stronger than we were anticipating. And unfortunately for our Florida YouTube pilot friends, Jason Shepard over at M0A.com and John Kotwicki from FlyMikeAlpha.com both had their Cessna 172s damaged from an overnight tornado in Appleton. Luckily, nobody was hurt, and it's sounding like those birds are going to fly again. Otherwise, Kalamazoo was an interesting town. We found a neat little bar with a bluegrass band and some friendly ping pong. But I think Yvette's highlight was being given the key to someone else's room in a hotel over in Battle Creek. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Like, alone hits you in the face. There's also... <laughs> wow. Um, I mean... I don't think this is the right... I think someone was in that room. No, I don't think I've ever walked in, in a hotel room. And so... <laughs> well, now I know the security is very tight here. We should be fine. <laughs> we finally made it to Kalamazoo. No occupants. In no this occupants one. in this one, but we have a, a grand vista. And someone who feels the same as us downstairs. <laughs> <laughs>